What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb G Max Lapras team alongside with Stalwart Assault Vest Duraludon. So, if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. It really does blow my mind. Now, I was checking my analytics, and about 55% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So, if that is one of you guys, all you got to do is scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button. Really, it does go a long way, and it helps me out as a content creator. But getting started with this team, we have Duraldon in the top left corner. One of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 8, right? Yeah, this is 8. Yeah, this is Gen 8. So, favorite Pokemon from Generation 8. Got that stalwart ability so we can hit through follow me's and all different abilities. We got assault vest right here so we can circle some special attacking shots. Move set of Draco Meteor and Flash Cannon both for stab, dark pulse, and body press for our coverage moves. Right next to him is the best legendary bird in the game. There's no there's no overseeing him. Clarion Moltres is the best legendary bird. It's just the best. Berserk, a guav berry to give it a little bit more HP, air slash, fiery wrath, nasty plot setup, and protect as its final move. Our Tailwind Pokemon is going to be Whimsicott on this team. Prankster ability, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. We got Giga Drain, Tailwind, Fake Tears, Drop Special Attack, and Taunt for their support mods. We got Rhyperior over on the other side that works really well. He's a heavy hitting physical attacker with Rock Slide, Rock Breaker, EQ, and High Horsepower. So all stat moves. We also have Lightning Rod to protect our Moltres and our G-Max Slappers with that Life Orb. Then we also have the Choice Band. Make it do a little bit more damage and maybe pick up some big KOs for us. Weezing in the bottom left is a Pokemon we don't really use too much, but it is a great support mod and that is exactly how we're going to be using it on this team. We have the Neutralizing Gas to take off abilities. I pop a berry to give it a little bit more HP when we are in a pinch. We have Dazzling Gleam for Stab. Clear Smog to take off stat cha changes. Will-O-Wisp for physical attackers. We can burn them, half their damage, and then we got Protect as our final move. Last Pokemon is going to be the heart and soul of the team. That is going to be G-Max Lapras over here. This Pokemon has been dominating every single meta it has joined into. Ever since G-Max Lapras was allowed, everyone was just like, Yo, this thing's kind of broken. And it really is because it works in all situations. We got Shell Armor, Life Orb to make it do more damage, Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Thunder, and Protect that normal move set for Lapras. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this Duraludon and Life Orb Lapras team. When I was picking out the team for today's video, I was wondering what Pokemon have we not showed off for Series 9. And when I saw Lapras, I was like, are you kidding me? How haven't we shown off this Pokemon? He's dominating in every single meta. So I was like, let me get one out for you guys and pick this team right here. But we're going up against a uh, Metagross and Latias team in battle number one. And this team has been taken over the meta. Latias and Metagross is a phenomenal combo and it's very tough to stop. So hopefully we can get rocking out here, dominate and get ourselves a win in battle number one. He does have the Spore combo, which is kind of scary. I just have Spore. I might go Wimscott and Lapras. Get that rolling. I think that's not a bad play here. I'm digging that. I'm going to bring Duraldon in the back end, and then my final Pokemon could actually be Rock Wrecker Rhyperior. We do have that Lightning Rod. We do have that lovely little Lightning Rod, which I might go into. I think I'm going to go there, or going with these two, and then roll in with Lightning Rod. Where do I bring Moltres? Then you know what? We're going to go Rhyperior. I feel like Rhyperior is going to be nice all around here. Is that lightning rod and I definitely gotta watch out for that Regilecki because that is like the one Pokemon that is gonna come after my uh my Lapis real hard. And he might actually lead it as well. But we'll see what's going on. We will see what's going on. But I've been having a blast playing on uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield online battles. Really been loving the game once again. It's not like I hated it before, it just started to get dull. Like it came out, rode a high, and everyone was like, Yeah, yo, Pokemon Sword and Shield, loving it. Gotta get after it. And then it was just like, all right, all right, all right, died down. DLC's kind of brought it back up a little bit. Then it died down again. And now, now I'm really liking it again. I am having a blast with it. But he's going to lead Regilecki and, uh, ooh, Regilecki and Amoongus. I'm going to taunt up on you. I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect my Lapras and see what he does. Is he going to Dynamax Regilecki? He's not. So we get off this protect. We're going to taunt up onto the Amoongus and we're going to roll out from there. Rage Powder's coming through here. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Here goes my lovely little taunt. Um, what do I do from here? Do I swap in the Lightning Rod? Let's see what he was going for. He's going for an E-Web. He is going for an E-Web. We have this thing taunted. I might swap now. Hmm. What do I want to do? There goes the Speed Drop. Just swap into my peer. Let him do him. And I am going to end up Dynamaxing. Going for this Resonance over onto 
Yeah, over on the Regilecki. I really want Regilecki dead more than anything else. Because we have this Amoongus Taunt. It can't really do much. And he might think I'm a weakness policy, so he might not want to proc it. Let's see what he does. Here goes Lightning Rod coming out here. Let's soak up, get a nice little boost, and uh, soak up some moves there. Hopefully he's going for like a Thunderbolt or something. Because I think if he goes for E-Web, I soak up just the one on the right Pierce slot. But not the one that's going after my back. Let's just see what happens. I'd love to get off this Aurora Veil. This Aurora Veil could be huge. Could be huge. The tail one would have been nice too. There's a Thunderbolt. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rhyperior comes in here. We soak that up. We get that Lightning Rod boost. I wish it was a physical attack boost instead of special attack. Would have been lovely. Here goes my resonance. Now, we get Aurora Veil up. We're going to do damage here. Can we KO this Regilecki? It is lightweight. Get him out my face. Get him out of here, yo. Nice play by me, yo. I'm getting... I feel like I'm getting better and better at this game every single time. Like, I'm really starting to think. I know I make dumb plays all the time, but when I sit down and actually think about the possibilities that can end up happening, I really do well. Here's a sludge bomb coming through this slot. Easy eats for Rhyperior all day. All dang day. And now we have a Roar Valve set up. We have Dynamax. We have a Rhyperior chilling out here. And who's he going to go into? I might want to go back into my, uh, my Whimsicott here. Or do I just want to try to get like, off like a Rock Wrecker or something along those lines? Let's just see who he brings out. Moongus really has to go. We're gonna bring out Medicus. Okay, so, okay we're gonna get after him. We gotta, we gotta do something about that. How many turns left in Taunt? I think he has two, right? I can check. Two turns left in Taunt. We gotta do something about that guy right there. We go for a high horsepower. That's not bad. I don't wanna do that. I kinda wanna double up into this guy. We go for a geyser. Yeah, let's hit the rain here. Let's set the lovely little rain. Get after this thing, because we know he's going to Dynamax, right? Yep, there's Dynamax. He could be policy, which is totally fine. I think we should be fine here. I don't see him picking up a KO on me. Got my little water bottle here. I, like, grabbed it, because usually when I'm playing video games, I, like, take sips of water and everything. And then, I like, once I grabbed it in my head, I was like, yo, I'm recording. What am I doing? But then I was just like, yo, the jeans community doesn't care. They don't mind. They love just seeing me chill and relax playing video games. There goes my geyser. Getting some nice damage off there. Can my peer pick up the KO? That's what I'm really curious about here. I'm really curious about if my peer can pick up this KO. High horsepower with the choice band. Comes in hot. Picks up the KO. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, yo. What a first battle. Dude. Playing so well. Awesome first battle. Making some good reads. Protecting at the right time. Dude, awesome, awesome, awesome. He gets a poison off. I don't really care. Poison is not really anything special i do think that poison should uh half damage a special attackers kind of the same way burn half damage physical attacking or yeah i just don't get why that's not a thing like that like that's the same thing with intimidate like they have intimidate but then they don't have like an intimidate for special attacking and then they have a burn for physical attackers but not a poison for special attackers. like that just makes no sense to me we have to rock out in the high horsepower we know that latias is levitated for choice ban in that. I could swap, but I think he's going to cancel battle, to be honest with you. There it is. Cancel battle. Dominating battle number one. Start off this video 1-0. and oh. Now we can hop into our second and look to get a win streak. In the we're sitting here hopping into battle number two, and we're going up against the Lapras team. So we got a little mirror matchup going on. He also has the Regilecki, the Urshifu, the Incineroar, Tyranitar for weather control, and the Mimikyu as his final Pokemon. But before we hop into our second battle, I want to talk about my sponsorship again, Into the AM. This hat is made by them, and I have a t-shirt that they sent me that I really want to show off. It's a really cool t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can hear me when I lift up the shirt. I'm just going to lift it up real quick. It's a really cool tie-dye t-shirt. I wear it out all the time. Super comfy material. I'm like, oh my lord, it is so comfy. It's like a blanket. You guys can uh, actually use my link down in the description below. It will give you guys 10% off. Or if you guys need a code, the code is actually jeans. Definitely go check it out. Support me as a content creator and help out my new sponsorship by buying some merch. Promise you guys, it won't be a letdown. The quality of the product is awesome and the price is amazing. They got awesome outfits for all summer and all different occasions. But who should I go into? How should I rock out with this? I think... Hmm, I definitely want to get off Tailwind. He doesn't really have anything to take speed. I kind of want to get the Rallodon here as well. Rallodon's not bad. The Rallodon, yeah. The Ralla, the Ralla. I kind of want to bring Rhyperior in the back. Rhyperior looks like he just rocks out all around. Let's get Rhyperior and then final Pokemon. Do we go Moltres or Lapras? That is the real question. Moltres or Lapras? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm going to go Lapras. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Lapras here. I'm really liking Lapras. I think it's the same team that we just picked, but I just, I just feel like Lapras can do a little bit more than the Moltres in, in this situation. But the reason I did not lead the Lapras is because I, we, we, we just showed off that in the last battle. Like, he has a Regilecki. If he leads a Regilecki, that's fine. That, that's who I think he's going to lead. I was going to do the same exact thing I did last battle. But I was just like, nah, we can't do that. See, there's Regilecki. So I can go into... But oh, what's going I can go into the uh, the right period if I really want to. He might try to slow me down. I definitely want to drop off a Tailwind. Or I can just straight up go for a Fake Fusion. And then Dynamax and get off a Knuckle. I really want to. But I think I'd rather Steel Spike and then Tailwind next turn. Because I know my Whimscott is not going to go down here. Actually, it could. It could if he's doubling up into me. But I really do want the speed. I really do want the speed, but at the same time, I would love to get off the special defense drop. Machines want to do here. Hmm. I, th I think we're going to stick with the gut. We're going to go for the fake tier drop. I'm going to Dynamax, and I am going to get a defense boost here. Actually, which one's doing more damage? Oh, we got Dynamax. Let's go for the warm win. Uh, defense boost would have been better for us. We should have went for the defense boost, but it happens. It happens. I want to go for the one with more damage, but then... I, I was running out of time. I was running out of time, and, and I just clicked warm win. The reason Steel Spike would have been better is because we're getting an attack drop here. Attack drop is going to do nothing to the Lapras and the uh, Regilecki. But a defense boost would at least give us a stat boost for maybe if he swaps to a physical attacker at that time. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing. Yeah. 100%. He's going for the Resonance. Uh, I think he's going to take out my Wimscott. That's why I was like iffy on the Tailwind board. But I think he's going to go for a Resonance onto my Wimscott and an E-Web on both my Pokemon to slow us down. So I think that's the play for him. So I'm hoping we get off this nice, lovely little fake tears and maybe get off a Tailwind. Hopefully he goes after the Rowdon in some sort of way. See what happens here. Here goes my fake tears. Mwah. Got that special defense. Does the round on outspeed Lapras? I think it can. There goes the E-Web. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's going to take off my Sash and then roll after with the Resonance. And now now the Lapras will outspeed. Okay. I see you. I'm going to go for the Resonance. Um, who do I bring in from here? Who do I bring in from here? Lapras. I think we just pull into Lapras, right? Lapras and then Hard Swap into Rhyperior. Maybe force a Thunderbolt. I think that's going to be play. We force a Thunderbolt or Max Lightning. Here goes a Warm Wind. Get after this thing. Feel some decent damage. Decent damage. But again, Lapras is super bulky. Super, super bulky. We do have a Soul Vest, which is lovely. But yeah, that's got to be our play. Is to go into Lapras and then swap into the Rhyperior. All right, try to force some Lightning moves coming up onto my Lapras slot. Let's see what's going to happen here. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do? I could protect. I think I'd rather just hard swap here. Actually, let's protect this turn. And then swap next turn. I would love to do more damage onto that, uh... Onto that, uh, what's it called, slot. Onto this Lapras slot. And get a defense boost. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna protect this turn. Let's see what happens. But I don't want to, uh... Swap this turn and then take down that Lapras to so like, ooh, okay, so this thing's gonna go on. Okay, so the swap's gonna be fine next turn. U Web's coming out here, blocking that, and it's gonna slow down my Duraldon. Yo, leave my Duraldon alone. Leave him alone. He's hitting up on my Duraldon, slowing him down. Leave him alone. Okay, at this point, I think we just go after the, uh, the Regilecki. Let's play. Hopefully, swap out here. Swap to the right period now, and then we go into the. Hmm. Let me go into a Steel Spike. Over on the Lapras. I, like, I'm trying to get off as much damage as I possibly can onto this thing. Let's see. Lapras swaps. We save it for later. And we're going to get him right here. And hopefully he's doubling up Lightning Moves. That can be real clutch. E-Web comes out here. Lightning Rod. Dude, my Duraldon's like the slowest Pokemon in all of Pokemon right now. Minus three. But he's soaking up shots with that, with that Assault Vest. Eating it up all day. Lapras, what are you going for? Max Lightning. There's Lightning Rod. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Wasting turns, yeah. Dude, right here is clutching up. He's really doing wonders here. Feels by coming down. He's gonna be able to soak that up. He is an absolute tank. And uh, is he gonna outspeed my right here? That's the real question. 
I'm really scared of that, uh, that big water move coming after me. I might swap back. I might swap back now. That might be my play. I think I'm gonna swap back. I think I'm gonna swap back here because I can see this thing either protecting or swapping. So I'm gonna swap into my Lapras. Who doesn't just go for a straight water move? And I'm going to finish off this uh, this Lapras. That's my play. That is the Gene's play. There's no way he's going for an electric move unless he's going for an E-Web, right? Let's see. Let's see if this move can pay off. I, th I think he's going to protect or swap. Make a move, kind sir. Make a move. Go ahead. Swap your Regilecki. Do it. Do it. Get me a free swap in. Let me, let me hard read you, buddy. Let me hard read you. Going for a Hydro Pump or something. Yeah. Yeah, get out of my face. Get out of my face. There goes the T Tar. T Tar's coming out here. Sandstream is popping. That's totally fine. The Roudon does not take buffets. Right here, we're swapping right period in the lap. Alright, it's so a nice, nice little move by me. We are sitting in a tough situation. He does have the upper hand on us with that Aurora Veil chilling. There goes the Hydro Pump. Easy eats for us. All dang day. All dang day. Easy eats. I was able to eat that up, no problem. Flash Cans can come out here, pick up the KO for us. Built. Get him out of my game. And now we're sitting here. He's probably going to bring back out the Regilecki, which I would just protect at this point. Um, we're kind of scared of that, that uh, T-Tar there. You going to bring out Regilecki? Hmm. I don't, I don't see him bringing out Regilecki, knowing that I can swap in the right period. So he knows my team. Let's say good battle. Let's say real good battle. Again, he definitely has the upper hand on this a little bit. This Duraldon's minus three. Let's have Regilecki in the back. He's gonna send out. He send out. He's gonna send out the Regilecki. Okay. Um. Might swap my Duraldon just get speed back. And he might go for a rock move. I might just go for a rock move. I might. Just, I think I'm just gonna protect my Lapras here. And I could body press. This would be four times super effective. So I am going to go for a body press around to the T-Tar slot. Good way does. Here goes my protect. What's your play, kind sir? Bolt switch. Okay, so he's bolt switching out. That's... Ooh, wee. I like that one bit. Are you dropping... Dropping a rock slide? I need my... I need my... Uh, I need my drought on to eat up. Dang, we should have swapped. Should have totally swapped. Gonna throw out his last Pokemon. That's gonna be Incineroar. Okay. Thank you. This is, this is a good battle. This is a real good battle. Hopefully, he doesn't go for that Rock Slide. That Rock Slide could be scary. That could take out my Duraldon, or my Duraldon could eat it. Let's see what happens here. Just for a crunch. Oh, he doubles down into me. You buttery biscuit. He reads my Protect hard. He reads me hard, yo. Get this fool out of here. Get this fool out of here. Okay, so smart play by him. Got to Intimidate off. My boy is going to come in here. And I gotta go into a high horsepower. I would love to go into an EQ, but I just simply can't. Where do I do it and just say, sorry, Lapras? I think we're gonna have to do that. Choice ban into that EQ. That's gonna be my play. I'm choicing into this EQ. I play, I'm super effective up against everybody. Everyone. He's gonna fake me out. We fix out my lap, so thank you. That works for me. Rock Slide's gonna come through here. If you flinch my right here, I'm gonna cry. Don't flinch my right here. Don't you flinch my right here. Because we have a chance to clutch up heavy here. Are you serious? What you mean? No! EQ, let's go. Let's do it. Hey, you getting these flinches on me? buttery biscuit dude that could have been huge i'm wondering if that would have picked up the double ko if we like if it doesn't and we get off the turn here let's see what happens here, here goes the crunch which is easy eats we should be able to eat up whatever incinor has to offer eq comes out first can we get the cat double ko bro we would have won this game if we didn't flinch there we would have won the game if we didn't flinch Right? Yeah, because we would have KO'd right there. That would have been easy KO, and then it would have been a 1v1 up against a Regilecki. Who cannot hit me because all he has is lightning moves. 
Dude, a flinch. See, dude, sometimes game just annoys me. I do. Don't I have an eye popper? No, I'm choice bandit. I'm choice band. Bro, what you mean? All right. I need T-Tar to miss or else to eat the shot. Give him a little bit of wiggles. Hey, yeah, what are you missing? You're missing your crunch. You're missing it. EQ, miss. No. Lance, he's going to KO me. He has that weakness policy proc, and that goes GG. Dude, if we did not flinch, that was a win in the bag. But good game to this guy. We're 1-1. One one. We can hop into our third and final and look for that winning record for you guys. Time to get our winning record, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hop to our third and final battle. And I'm still a little upset that we lost that battle to a flinch. That was all around a good battle. Good plays from him. Good plays from me. But really, a rock side flinch picks him up the win. Not a fan of that. Not a fan at all. But hopping into our third and final battle. This guy has a Metagross team alongside with Tapu Lele. Landers with the Intimidate. Yes, Incineroar with the Intimidate. Urshfu and Regilecki. So we're seeing a lot of Regilecki. A lot. Um, what do I think he's going to go into? Uh, maybe Incineroar, maybe Regilecki, Regilecki's not a bad lead. I kind of want to go into Whimsy. I think I want to bring Vyperia here again. Vyperia's just been phenomenal. Who does Jeans go into? kind of want to just go with the Lapras combo, right? Lapras just rocks out. I don't want to bring Vyperia. Yeah, I got to bring Vyperia. It's just beast. And I think Moltres over Duraludon in this battle. Be a tad bit better. I'm liking it. We're not going to be able to show off Galarian Weezing today, but hey, that's all good. It is all good. Considering uh, you guys kind of already know what Weezing is there for. Weezing is there to get some stat uh, removed. To say if they proc weakness policy. Or if you see a Steam Engine Colossal. Make sure you get that boy out there. He can go for Clear Smog. Drop those stats back to normal. After he goes for the Surf. And then you can also throw Burns on him with Will-O-Wisp. And all that good stuff. Or you can just neutralize and gas to take off abilities. So for instance. I'm trying to think of like a good instance. Like if he wants to go into like a Psychic Surge with Indeed. He tries just like expanding, expanding Force. You can roll out with that. Or if uh, say he has a Mimikyu. Throw that uh, Weezing out there. Take off his disguise. Not even allowed to use it. And just take out a Mimikyu in one shot. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. You're going to leave, kind sir. Incineroar and Tapu Lele. Which is totally fine. That kind of... Kind of stupid. Right? You're sending out a Psychic Surge. And then you can't fake out. Right? Unless you're not the end. You are a Psychic Surge. That makes no sense to me. Alright. You know, you do you. I'll do me. Alright? That's fine. Okay. All right, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Intimidate. Ooh, all my special attackers. <laughs> all right, let's Dynamax Lapras. We're, we're sitting in a good spot to actually Dynamax this Pokemon. Uh, do I even Tailwind? Yeah, let's Tailwind. Let's get the speed, baby. Oh, uh, let me see. Wait a minute. Let me see who we can swap into. How many Pokemon's really eating this up? It's going to be that Metagross. Do I really see him swapping into that Metagross? No. Not at all. Let's get after this boy. Guys, are this one up. We'll G-Max Resonance another turn. See what happens, and he's not gonna swap. You can't fake me out. So if you're going for a fake out, you got some problems here. Because we're sitting in Master Ball tier, and you're gonna fake out in a psychic surge. Like, I don't know how you would make it in the Master Ball tier if you're gonna do this. That'd be embarrassing. That would not be good. That would not be good. Even though I do it sometimes, but not not as much as I used to. Like, I don't think I did it in a while. So it does not go for the fake out. We're tailwind, baby. Well, with this, he's probably gonna party shot, but we do outspeed now, which is lovely. So hopefully we can pick up this guy. I'm thinking we can. We have the, the orb. The life of the orb. We tell Incineroar to go home and get out of my face. Get him out of here. Strong first turn for, um, from us. We get a crit too. But I, again, I think we're KOing anyway. We're definitely trying to go for a parting shot here. Get that special attack drop. But yo, I'm totally fine. I can just start uh, fake tearing. Drop a special attack. And roll with geysers if I really want to. Psychic's going to pop through here. That's easy eats for my boy Whimsy. Whimsy eats that one up all day with the focus sash. And a boy, Whimsy. Okay. So this play, play might be the Resonance. Let's see who he throws out here. It might be Metagross. They're throwing out the Meta of Grosses. The best is Metagross's name. Yeah, there's the Metagross. There is the Metagross. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I really, really want to fake tears on somebody. On somebody. Do, 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 do. Uh, what typing is Metagross again? Is he part dark? He dark? Yes, he is, though. He's still in psychic. Uh, I could fake tears up on you. Actually, let's go after this Lele. Lele. Fake tears onto Lele, and then drop a resonance. Because I really want to get off this war while Metagross is chilling there. 
Meta Gross. Yeah, there's that. Name. But I do like his name. It's Meta, which means like Meta. Like he's he is the Meta. Like he's super strong and he's gross. He's nasty. He's the best. <laughs> so his name just works so perfectly for a Pokemon of that caliber. And his shiny looks phenomenal. Always a cool Pokemon. One of the cooler pseudo legendaries in my opinion, because it's not just a dragon one. Oh, you get protected by a psychic terrain? Oh, it's a prank. So, okay, never mind. That one's on me. That one's on me. See, wasn't I just talking about fake out? I forget that prankster does it too. It's all first turn priority moves. But I forget that prankster changes it to first turn priority and then you get that as well. Like it comes out. Ooh, did a heap amount of damage. Oh, and you get the drop on me? Oh! Hey! Can we eat that? We might be able to. It's not sad yet. Okay, so we still have speed. Still got lovely little speed here. And terrain's gone, so I can fake tears on whoever I want. On whomever I want. I'm definitely gonna fake tears on you. Get that drop on you. Do I just geyser? Yeah, I'm gonna geyser here. Try to get off as much damage as I possibly can here. Why can't I fake tears? He's clear. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing, man? You get off a good amount of damage. He's going to be able to pick up the double KO easily here. Psychic coming into Whimsy. Oh, my lord. Jeans, what are you doing? <laughs> I was sitting there. I was like, dude, the terrain's gone. Why can't I do that? Clear body. Good jeans. I do have my rap here. But I'm fine with him just hitting up on my Lapras like that. Like, we have an Aurora Bell. We, he has no stat boost from that Dynamax. That's huge. I want to have Mulcha so I can just go into EQ. He's solid for me. The lovely little Moltres. Um, he does have Steel Spike, which is mm, kind of scary. Kind of scary. Kind of scary, yeah. So we're going with these two. These two lovely little Mons. I think I think EQ is going to be our best bet here. Dropping EQs left and right. And Fire Rat is going to be our next, next best bet. Get after this, fool. I know Moltres Wild Speed, uh, the Metagross. So hopefully we can pick up KO with this. With the Fiery Wrath. I'm gonna plot it too. This one's gonna be a good battle. This is gonna be really close. If he, if my, uh, both my Pokemon survive this turn, I, th I think we're fine. He's gonna withdraw the Lele. Lele's gonna get the withdrawal. Oh, and he's gonna go in the Reg Electric. Ooh, thank you. What was that turn for? What was that for? He's gonna guard you. What was that for? Get your Reg Electric out of my game. Now you don't have Dynamax. Now it's an easy win for us. It's GG's, baby. It's GG's. Get him out of here. Reg Electric, get out of my game. Get out of here. EQ's coming in hot. Thank you very much, yo. Thank you very much. See, he had a shot there. He had a shot until he did that. Or I don't know why. But still, I think we would have been fine. Regardless. But he had like a small shot with it. Now we're definitely chilling here. Probably gonna go for an Iron Head for me. But a Fiery Wrath will take out both these guys now. And an EQ will take out both of them. Thank you very much for the victory royale. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to end up going 2-1 and for you guys. 2-1. Sounds good. Actually, let me not say... I don't want to say that we won yet. Because you guys know, every time I say, Oh, yo, we got this one in the bag. Or, yo, we won this one. We end up losing. Here's my EQ. Fire Wrath once again. Run it. Run it. There's the battle. was canceled. 2-1 for today's video. Rhyperior rocked out. And we got that winning record for you guys. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Got that winning record for you guys. The MVP for today's video has got to be Rhyperior. He came into all three battles and dominated. He clutched up. He had his lightning rod. We got to show that off multiple times. The choice band helped us do a lot more damage. And we got to show off his moveset, which just KO'd every single Pokemon left and right. This team also has great Pokemon like the Raladon, Lapras, and Moltres that you can Dynamax at any time and come in in all instances to win you guys the battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.